Runners may have a more than 75% reduced risk of getting kidney cancer. At the same time, the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, readies for implementation. There may be bad news for some kidney patients. A study shows two kidney cancer drugs are equal in prolonging survival. But what could this mean to you? I'm Bill Bro with the Kidney Cancer News Special Report. Here's a health benefit you don't hear about every day. According to an article in Runner's World, runners are much less likely to contract kidney cancer. This according to research to be published in Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise. For this study, Paul Williams, Ph.D., analyzed self-reported information on exercise and self-reported diagnoses of kidney cancer. Williams found that as activity level increased, the chances of having kidney cancer decreased. Among the most active segment, those doing the equivalent of 15 or more miles per week, the risk of kidney cancer was 76.3% lower. A good reason to get moving. At the same time, key provisions of the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, are set for implementation. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services released a proposal to cut Medicare's end-stage renal disease program by 12% starting next year. That number has since been slightly scaled back, but it's going to be harder and harder, particularly for treatment centers in rural and small communities, to stay afloat and continue to provide service for patients as cuts are made. This according to Deborah Pritchard, a kidney cancer survivor who relies on dialysis. These cuts in Medicare may spell bad news for people dealing with kidney cancer. According to an article in Health Day News, the drug pazopinib or Votriant works as well as sunitinib, also called Sutent, for treating advanced kidney cancer. But a new study finds the former has milder side effects. This new trial was a head-to-head -head comparison of sunitinib and pazopinib. The researchers found both had similar safety profiles and survival benefit, but there were milder side effects with pazopinib. According to lead researcher Robert J. Mozer, an oncologist at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City. Dr. Mozer said, and I quote, the data also suggest that patients on pazopinib have a better quality of life. Both drugs cost about the same, around $6,500 per month, and are covered now by Medicare and many private insurers. I'm Bill Bro, and this has been a Kidney Cancer News Special Report.